is our uh, our Kickstarter pick for the week. Uh, this is Born Punk. This is a uh, a proper point and click adventure. Uh, it's a cyberpunk point and click adventure. We're we're going a little a little into the cyberpunk this week. Like not he not super heavy, but a little bit. Um, this for the record, this game is already like fully funded. Like they're they're working on stretch goals and all that. Like it's going well. Will the game actually capture? Yes, yes it will. Insert disc 22. Good amount of discs. This music is not very punk. It must be said. Oh. The audio slider. Shut up. Alarm off. Oh, Lord, that headache. What happened? Last thing I remember is me and Hussar drinking something green. Drac, well done, Evie. You know you don't have time for a hangover today. Never mind that you have to do an important data drill this evening. And that you have to work your shift in the bar. And that you actually like your rooms non-spinning. Ugh, where in this Drac hole is my hand? How? Okay, you need a plan, Evie. Focus. Step one. Don't go anywhere. Don't even get up until you know where your hand is. Step two. Get rid of that mother of hangovers. Step three. Do the data drill. Get rich. I think ugh, that's all the plan I can handle right now. So where's my hand? Should be nearby. I hope. This already looks and feels very LucasArts in a good way. A space to highlight objects that can be interacted with. Except this is way better than any LucasArts game. Because you can do this. <laughs> Vodka bottle, shot glasses. Oh. There it is. Must have been quite the night for it to just fall off. Just do it, Evie. Pretend like you're a functional person and get your drunk butt up. Up your hand. There you go. Much better. Much, much better. Good hand. Special action menu. Look at object. Inventory. Lore. Okay. It's a cat. Shred things with her claws, hack things with her hand, or shoot things with a gun. Uh. There's our punk. Um, but what did we want to interact with? I I'm gonna I'm gonna stop doing that. know why I'm doing this. I must still be drunk. My refrigerator door. I am staring at the most inane things today, am I not? You know what? I, I applaud how the game handles your arbitrary clicks. I don't want to 
gonna mess with the open window right now. Okay, I take that back. That's just that's a very like cliche, typical way of addressing it. I like what I'm wearing. And it's like it works, it's fine. If you can improve upon it, then brilliant. And right out of the gate, like I was enjoying like the uh the approach on this so much that I was like, clearly they're gonna do something cooler. Uh Hey, Foxy. That was actually a good animation of a cat stretching out. My lady, may I introduce myself? My name is not Faxina, but rather Don Tutorialisim. I have taken possession of your cat to explain to the player a couple of things about Born Punk. I hope you don't mind. Your cat will be a perfectly normal, unpossessed cat in the time of game. I guarantee it. I like self-awareness. Uh. Yes, I know. Accepting a talking cat can be hard. But please, do you have any questions about the game? Oh, this is a lot. This is an FAQ in cat form. Why are you so cheery? Why are you so cheery? This is a cyberpunk game. The game may be tinted darkish due to being cyberpunk, but we don't want the game to be depressive. We want to portray a dark future that still has some hope left in it, so you can expect at least a slightly humorous undertone. For example, a tutorial cat with an FAQ. there be voiceovers like in this demo? Yes, the game will be fully voiced. Proper. Uh, thanks for all the info, talking cat. Bye. Have a great day, Evie. What systems? Oh, I, I will check the Kickstarter because presumably the same questions and answers are there. Oh, but I have to scroll. I have to scroll. I have to read things now. Fine. I'll have. I'll have the talking cat. Uh. Yes. I. What platforms is this game gonna be on? Born Punk will definitely be available on Windows, Linux, and on Mac OS. Should no technical difficulties arise, a PlayStation Four, Xbox One, and Switch release is also very. Unless we implement a Very that would break gameplay on mobile devices, you can expect an Android and iOS release as well. I first out there is your answer. Uh I kind of love this in a weird way cuz like part, part of a demo is marketing. A large part of the demo is marketing. It's getting someone who's vaguely interested in the game over that line to purchasing it or supporting it or wishlisting it or whatever. And like when you're in that state, some of your questions are, okay, how does the game play? You can only figure that out by playing the demo, fine. But then you have other questions which aren't going to be addressed in universe unless you have a possessed talking cat, which apparently allows you to do that. Thanks for all the info, talking cat. Bye. Have a great day, Evie. So, like, I didn't expect that I'm to work. I'm clean this up now. Bringing you the Nova hottest news of the day. And what news this is, Mitsutomo, praise be upon them, will elect their newborn home chair tomorrow. It's broken. Anyway, uh, I imagine we are supposed I'm to do hungry. something? At all. As expected, the fridge computer is still malfunctioning. All I did was remove its secondary CPU for use in a quick brute force job. Cheap int AMD trash. No use, it's not working. What a surprise, huh? World map. I'd like to visit the world, 
But I'm sure I won't need that map to do it. Then why do you have it? I'm sure I've eaten from this bowl before, but never sober. Even Foxina doesn't like this stuff very much. Foxina? Your opinions? You are now apparently a talking cat. Do you have opinions on the food? Like, I'm I'm going to guess no. I'm, go I'm going to actually guess no. Uh... The game has a literal red herring. No thanks. Vomiting is not on the schedule today. I'm far too lazy to clean the vent filters. There you go, little fluff ball. Mommy needs a bit of space over here. The red herring wasn't a red herring. To do the trick. Foxy and I will be occupied for quite some time. I don't want to mess with the open window right now. I don't want to mess with the windows right now. Th then why did uh, why did we make our move? That's Fox and us now. Oh. We 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 got Fox and to move. Okay. Why did we need to do that? That was a good idea. Foxy knew it was going to catacalypse it eventually. The lone survivor. It's perfect where it is. I wonder if plants can produce oxygen from neon lights. Lore? We have no lore. This doesn't strike me as something I sh We have a glass and a gun. We have a glass and a gun. Uh, we have more room that I did not realize was here. Perkele, what was that? Oh, I hope there weren't any psychedelics in my drinks yesterday. Can't really deal with that right now. But with the data drill going on today and all... Known message. Wardrobe, ancient computer, cabinet, sink. Yeah, I didn't realize there would be more room in the room. I'm going nowhere until I rid myself of... That water is far too... Does the sink well, let's work? not drink from the faucet directly. With my headache, turning my head like that. Haven's water may not be the best, but I still prefer it to the pain in my head. There you go. <laughs> what? No, come on, please. No, don't make me shoot you, faucet. Well, looks like. Can I shoot the faucet? We're unlucky. The bar won't have electricity either. My gravestone's gonna read R.I.P. Evie Renus Doter, 2121 to 2155. She died of the worst hangover ever experienced by humankind because she couldn't find enough water to drown her stupid pills in. At least the glass is half full now. I'll need more to prevent my hangover delights from turning my stomach into acidic mousse, though. Hmm. And getting the floor wet? I like it dry in here. I mean... Partially filled glass. Open the window, oh, stick it out. That headache! What the... Hello? Is there anybody here? Show yourself! This is ridiculous. Whatever hallucinogenic I took yesterday... I don't think I like it very much. I don't want to mess with the open window right now. You PDA topic? Anyone wanna wanna translate some hex? Any anybody? <laughs>
Cause I don't. <laughs> I'm lazy. I won't pick it up now. It'll serve as a reminder to never squander extremely rare vodka just like that. Actually, I'll take it anyway. It might still be worth something, even in this state. Oh. Right, so what can we interact with? Coffee machine? As strange as this may sound, but I actually hate coffee. Then why do you have a coffee machine? They do say to never travel without a towel. Welcome back to Radio Peak Borner, to the hour of fusion. Oh, we can make a Molotov. <laughs> why is that the first thing my brain jumps to? Far too hungover to change clothes right now. Also, that sewer punk smell I emanate has kind of become my trademark. Fair enough. Tonight's data drill is VR only. I won't need it. It's empty inside. The door has no handle on purpose. I can't open it like that. I'm going nowhere until I. Okay. I mean, we still need some water. I could get the glass through, but I'd have to angle it so awkwardly it'd spill most of the water again. Okay. The game is aware that I'm like, I'm, I'm going to look at the fact that it's rainy outside and be like, I need water. Water. That water is. Can't figure out what to. I don't think I want to do that. Yes, I want you to drink the freaking water. There's nothing I need there, and I'm not interested. Okay. Kitchen table is not helping. I'm not or even Haven. I'm not in the mood to try and no spice rack. Yeah, I don't feel like cooking right now. If you want to come by and have an autograph from me, then the border guards are going to shoot you. <laughs> now, I don't want to take that picture. I'll leave the picture right there. I like the I don't know what to interact with. I don't want to mess. Ah. Uh. There's my hangover delight. Delicious chemical freedom for the brain. Sweet. With the right amount I'm of not very good at pointing like adventures. Once more. It's vital to fill the glass up completely first. Hangover delights. Ex okay. Need more water. You get the glass through. Where can we get more water? I mean, there's a source of water. Mm, no. Heat makes things expand. Come on. That water is. It's not working anymore. Better not play. I I swear I tried that. I don't think I want to do Yeah. I don't think I want to do that. Vaxina, can you help? Uh yes, I There's... I, I want a hint, cat. I use human tools to care for my nails. The poster stays right there. The poster stays right there.
Empty vodka bottle in the window. Or the bottle's too big to get through the mesh. A good idea, though. An obtuse idea, which is very adventure game, very point-and-click adventure. I'm I'm out of things to interact with. I'll at least save my favorite glass. I miss permanent things in my life. This is one of the few I have. This is what it's come to, Evie. You'll be drinking rainwater now. Done. A shot glass full of water. Blasphemy. In the absence of working faucets. At least my shot glass is still loyal. Well. One more time, and I should have enough water to dissolve the hangover delights. Once more into the breach. I hope no one I know sees me. That's that's, that's it. video game one logic. Small step for shot glasses, but one huge step for hangover kind. Hmm. The damn bottle won't open. Must have played around with it again yesterday. What didn't past Evie screw up? Hangover delights take a lot of water to work properly. The damn bottle won't Okay, so the bottle stuck. Um. Bark. I can't interact with any of the knives or sharp things. I don't think I want to do that. Want to do that? I'll take ideas because I'm, I, I, I'm apparently bad at this. <laughs> Okay, it's open. I was too stuck in the Molotov cocktail mindset. I was very, like, narrowly tunnel visioned on the Molotov. Finally, let's down this baby and get to work. Who would have thought that curing a simple hangover would be such a hassle in 2155? Ah. <sighs> Already feels better. In a few seconds, my face and brain should have cleared up. Whoa. There we go. Hangover successfully exterminated. Now let's get out of here and find Hussar. She's gonna have to be my meat guard for tonight's data drill, after all. Oh no. My head, it's doing it again. Ah. Anyone want to look that up? Stop! Because I don't. Stop it already! I'm gonna kill whoever put this dreck in my drink. Right. Let's get out of here. Door. Voice recognition. Owner. Voice not recognized. Please enter passphrase. What do you mean voice not recognized? It's me, Drek. Well, all right then. Door. Passphrase. Frangelical Underberg Calvados Kalua. Passphrase not recognized. Please try again. Something's definitely wrong here. How come? Passphrase not recognized. <laughs> Please try again. No! Door! Passphrase. Frangelico Underberg Calvados Kalua Uza Finlandia Firewater. Passphrase not recognized. Access denied. I'm beginning to feel as if something really bad happened yesterday. This. All I like I like the uh, I like the passphrases, yeah. Load override protocol. Evie evacuate two five zero nine. Initiate security question. Evie evacuation two five zero nine initialized. What is the name of your favorite cocktail? I have a feeling. I don't like cocktails. Wrong. Door system shutting down. For Fen, Hrenmai, I have no idea how this can be, but I'm locked out of my own security system now. 
I have no idea how you're supposed to know that one, or if you're supposed to know that one. The door has no handle. Hmm. Ah. I can't see how hacking this would be useful. Be a story-related event. Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Smashy, smashy. Evie clawing the PA system has altered the course of events. Well. Okay. There were various ways of getting out. And you chose to claw your way out. You could have shot it. <laughs> I didn't think shoot it. This is very loud. This is very loud. Sometimes the violent option will be the one that gives you the best outcome. Three lore entries, that's it. So yeah, I think the answer to that question was was somewhere. Didn't find out more about the broken objects, which would have given you a special dialogue option. Okay. I feel like I interacted with everything though, like. Like, what else was I going to, uh, going to interact with? Well, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, that felt very much like a, like a classic LucasArts era point and click adventure, like Secret of Monkey Island, Full Throttle, all of that kind of stuff. For better and for worse. Um, but at least like having that uh, interaction highlighter was very appreciated. Uh, if only because it gave you that chance to be like, I literally don't know what I can even do. Um... Well, there you go. <laughs> That's I. Occasionally, I will like get on about uh, about demos and kickstarters, and I'm like, if you're doing a Kickstarter and you don't have a demo, something is wrong. Because now I'm I was able to play the game and immediately tell like how does it feel? What's the atmosphere? There was a talking cat explaining the details for actually a really clever approach. Um, I even like how afterwards the game, like, gave you that breakdown of, like, here's how you did. <laughs> so there's, like, even less mystery. Uh, and there's more opportunity to be like, okay, here's what's going on. Here's what you can expect. Uh, if it just ended, then, like, I would have no idea that I missed lore. Uh, I would assume as such. No idea if, like, that was the only way to get past the PA system. I assume not. Um, I... It never crossed my mind to shoot the damn thing, but... Okay. That's, that's a thing you can do. Like, if the entire game is, like, that dense in terms of interactions and lore and all that stuff, then that is going to be a very good adventure game. Um, so I, I can see why it's just like completely, uh, it's made its goal, it's knocked out several stretch goals. Like, if, if you were looking at it like a little skeptical, that demo sells you on it and does a pretty solid job. <laughs> 